His name is John Cena! John Cena. Cena is... He's a mature man. He's, he's in his 40s, right? So, yeah. You know, he doesn't come in with anything, I don't think. I'm gonna I'm gonna say he doesn't come in with anything. Now we gotta gotta go with a base template. So a wrist right? Yeah, John Cena's pretty white. No, that's him. That's him. This is John. This is John Cena. He's, he's in character. He's in character as uh as a prophet. What else we have the DLC install? The bad part about starting as a prophet is we don't have anywhere close to the weapons we need, but we do have the Jords. This is the closest thing in the entire Elden Ring database that I could find to Jords. And uh, I'll also remember the spells, and we have another weapon we're gonna be picking up, so don't you guys worry your little heads. I decided that with the announcement of John Cena retiring from the WWE, I would honor him by playing as him in my favorite game. The idea of this build is very easy and simple. Strength slash vigor slash endurance and iron balls as weapons. Well, I think Torrent's kind of necessary for John Cena because like there's nothing more John Cena than having a horse. I'm sure John Cena owns a horse. I'm going to Google it after this. I decided to start as the Prophet since Prophet trousers look like jorts and first I had to collect my items. It's time to use my immense skills. What are you looking to start? Okay. Well, you start something, problem. buddy. You don't want that bitch to do anything. I'll rip you that bitch. to shreds. Wow, that's a terrible way to report. <laughs> and he pops up. Great. You feel like it here. You feel like You feel like one shot. You feel like don't have enough You feel like Sometimes I can get in a quick hit, sometimes I can't. So instead of trying to judge where I can and can't, I should just not do it. Ah, that's scary. No! Flesh, fuck! Wait, he popped a different flesh. What flesh was that? No! Barely <laughs> spawned for the boy. Oh my god. That one taps with no flesh? With most of my items collected, I decided that it was time to start leveling up. I also needed to collect some talismans. I have exactly enough to wield this. This is a sign. So there's the first item I needed. Oh man. Oh, admit it. Joking me. Oh, the axe tells me. That help. <laughs> I have never killed a boss that fast. Holy crap. With that, I also needed to grab the flask and make sure to grab some tears for it. Can I get a hit? Jesus Christ. John Cena, man. I don't know what to tell you.
I will say this challenge run ended up having a lot of deaths, and I'll showcase that throughout this video. For 2100 root, that's like one level. I picked up some extra items and Ashes of War just in case we'd need them for later strategies. After beating Margot on the first attempt for the first time in the entire time I've been playing Elden Ring, I decided it was time to move on and just take on Godric because, really, how much more did I need? After activating Godric's Great Rune, I decided that it was time to fight some more bosses, level up some more, and get ready to challenge Renala.
John Cena has defeated Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. With Renala defeated, it was time to get ready for Alta's Plateau. I did a bit more leveling and collected a few more items. I've never first tried that avatar before. Maybe John Cena is just completely overpowered. I moved on to the Altus Plateau. I elected to not use the Dectus Medallion and instead I wanted to fight Magma Worm Magikar, just to make sure that I was still able to take out some of the bosses that had always given me trouble on my other runs. Along the way, I elected to join Volcano Manor. While I didn't plan on going to Rykard through the teleportation that the proprietor offers, I decided instead that I would do the fight simply so I could get some extra experience and some extra fighting against humanoid enemies in. After that, I was going to actually fight Rykard, but that's going to be saved for a later video. I was still collecting items, but I elected to fight the Godskin Apostle located at the Windmill Village in order to get some practice for the later boss of the Godskin Duo. I also elected to fight Margit for the second time. I'd need all the practice I could get to learn Morgoth's style. Gold Free gave me a ton of trouble, but luckily I was able to learn a lot of his moveset which would help a lot later on when we would fight Horolu. I didn't get to heal! I was healing! After dying to Morgoth a couple times, I decided that I was just gonna clutch up. I was just gonna defeat Morgoth. Easy. He's just the Omen King. Really, what did he have on me? On John Cena?
Fuck you, Morgoth, you big dumb bitch. With that ends the first part of these videos. Now, I do want to make more of these, however, I only want to do them if people will actually enjoy them. So make sure to drop a like on this video and comment down below what your favorite part was. Thank you for watching.